This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 692 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Steel City, and uh, and and a place where a lot of wrestlers are from these days. You're seeing on TV. Uh, so we got with us the crew. We have surviving an upstate New York winner and his very standard uh, commute. Uh, is uh, the only uh, future endeavored uh, Mayhemer uh, from the w- no a future only Mayhemer with a future endeavored letter from the WWE? Should I start said it backwards? I, I did it. I did it earlier because somebody was asking about that. Mad Mike is with us. Hi, hi guys. Um, the snow is terrible. Snow is terrible. Snow is absolutely terrible. It looks light and um, fluffy down here. I don't know what your problem is. You know what? Go fuck yourself with your light and fluffy. That's what I say. <laughs> I, I I was shoveling snow at one thirty in the morning. I don't mm. do that anymore. No mm. Were you, was that you in the unicorn suit? I saw. <laughs> no, because if I had a snowblower, I wouldn't have back pain right now. Mm. And also with us, he is back in the studio. Zeke. Zeke Mercer is with us. Yes. He's yes. drinking coffee like a big boy. Not non sippy cup this time. Not a sippy cup. This is a great day. We've had an extended pre show. Oh, yeah. Where everybody in the chat room has, um, yes. I've been getting roasted for the past 25 minutes. There you go. Welcome back. Zeke, Zeke Mercer, who who made his refereeing debut this weekend. Oh, yeah. And we'll talk about that here in a little bit. I should probably glad do it could, more. Glad you could join us again. Of course. Of course. All right. <laughs> and also, uh, uh, Ronnie Stark's not able to make it this week. I believe he is on assignment uh, filming his new d- d- uh, documentary, Ronnie with Shadows. So uh, we'll uh, reach out to him and see how that's going in next week. He's just on a trampoline waiting to be booked. <laughs> Don't make you freaking god. <laughs> Hashtag book Ronnie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're going to talk about some professionalized wrestling, some indie wrestling, and everything in between with our crew today. Uh, but you can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. This and so many other shows, including uh, just last week we did post the um, the Fight Society uh, Fighting Words podcast, where um, it was a great interview that Jim LaMotta had with one BC Steel you're talking about the the history of uh, Pittsburgh wrestling and his history and everything. It was a very good discussion. This week, this Friday, actually is going to debut one with Shirley Doe, Ooh. which is like we've had him on the show and we talked to him with an hour and he they're, they're reaching into stuff that we didn't even get to in that hour. Um, so very looking forward to that. It was a lot of fun to edit, and you guys should check that out on the Wrestling Man Show Super Feed on your podcast provider. Um, and, and that and the Indie Mayhem Show and so much more over there at WrestlingMayhemShow dot com. You can also ask your Google Home, your Amazon Echo, or your uh, your Apple Home Pod to listen to the Wrestling Mayhem Show podcast. You know, it's really easy when you're getting ready in the morning and say, "I want to, I want Mad Mike to yell about how bad Raw is." get me going today and I was gonna, also you can drop us an email address at that email good times good times at wrestling mayhem show.com 412-206-WMS0 at mayhem show on the twitter wrestling mayhem show on the facebook page and group a lot of great discussions sometimes i just share funny looking instagram posts over there uh to help lighten your day also every tuesday we are here live with the wrestling mayhem show on facebook live uh every tuesday 9 p.m. Eastern. I think I said all these words. Uh, if you're catching us later on one of the other outlets, because we are streaming on multiple places, including Indie Wrestling US Twitch, um, Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, and, and Sorgatron Media, uh, uh, um, um, Twitters and YouTubes and everything. Uh, again, a lot of that chat is happening on the Facebook Live with a Wrestling Mayhem Show. But you can also tweet us at Mayhem Show with the hashtag WMS uh, six ninety two. Uh, wow, <laughs> you week. better mess up my number. Oh man. <laughs> And messing up the numbers now i'm now i'm actually kind of questioning what that number is i think that's the right number i feel i feel like i feel like i messed it up oh, already no, is that i'm on what like is going episodes. on right now 
My keyboard's not working, so I can't it's even check. That's why we need like one of those producer deals. Yeah, she keeps going away. Is the problem. But anyways, uh, also thank you to our uh, streaming uh, partner, the 405 media.com. That's uh, carrying us to some other people. And thank you to our Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Our friends at the fan show, $1 level. Bo diggity. Woo. Ed Burke, Bobby FJ town, Tina keys team, Hammerfist, And at the poppy club, $5 level is Bradley Ruthers, Doc Remedy, and Dave Potter and Kyle Turner. At the Pizza Club, $10 level is our friend Ryan Clark. And at the Manager, $20 level is OccupyProWrestling.com. All supporting the show. Yeah. You can too. It is pizza. 692, Sorg. What's that? It is 692. Hey. Thank you. Thank you for checking that. <laughs> Fat checking. You're also a producer for this week, apparently. Luckily, I still get that nightly notification of last week's episode on Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah. It was, it was so the four or five media plays us at midnight Eastern time. Every mm-hmm. every wait is it, is it midnight or nine? It's midnight. It is midnight. It's nine there, but it's midnight, midnight for us. Midnight here. Midnight here. Every every night, seven days a week, and for some reason they tag me and you. Mm-hmm. But I guess we are we are the constants, I guess, in the long run. So, so um, we. This is the way. This it, is the way. This is the way. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh this is the way um but anyways uh so let's let's get into some wrestling talk for this week we we had um again i'm still reeling from the indie wrestling from the weekend of course we'll talk with zeke a little bit about that in a little bit hashtag get well missy in the chat room thank you zeke for that one of course uh, I, lo- so. I share on the love support for producing missy there you go there you go um i can i can i talk about AEW for a minute mike uh sure okay did you watch last week's uh turkey day episode i watched most of it most of it i i haven't been able with all the thanksgiving festivities and everything i just i because i wanted to watch impact too and i could yeah watch. yeah it's been very hard to to do the catch up on everything but i was really um we started with the the um the the give thanks for chris jericho celebration Gift mm-hmm. for Chris Jericho yes, celebration. which was delightful, That's good. including and I know Jim Bros- Joe Dombrowski was uh, talking about that is the secret to having Virgil on an online for a live guys. Virgil was on live TV. Virgil with, opened a show with a microphone awesome. to open your show in prime time on TNT 2019. in 2019. Times have definitely not changed. <laughs> and that gives you all of 630 thousand people watching well that was the holidays uh but anyways I mean, did, uh, yeah, NXT aired on the same night did a little bit better but um it's uh anyways um it was delightful it was it was a festival of friendship level a little bit for me i i i had it was fun i wasn't enthralled by it no I, I also no, love all. I love all things Jericho. That's me. All, That's me. Though. Is, Hashtag all things Jericho. The thing is, <laughs> almost everyone in AEW mm-hmm. is the same gimmick for me. Okay, explain. Okay, no, I want to hear this. Explain. All right, Zeke wants to know. Everyone in AEW mm-hmm. that has significant mic time, all right, is hi. I'm a meta wrestler, and I make references to things you know. Every single fucking one of them. Jericho, everyone in the elite, um, MJF, like literally the only person that doesn't do it is Pac. Mm-hmm. And Moxley. I will give credit. Moxley is not doing that. And that makes him stand but out. But isn't that what we kind of grew this thing on with being the elite? Right, that's, just... that not, that's not how a television show works. Mm-hmm. You have one person that can do that. Mm-hmm. But if you have everyone doing that, it becomes a YouTube show. Okay. It, All right. Like, like you cannot have being the elite be your program. Mm-hmm. That's like, it, uh, like it doesn't work because if everyone's a snarky asshole, then no one's a snarky asshole. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You need differentiation in characters. That's why when WWE does it, there's usually only one or two guys doing it at a time. Mm. And they're usually on different shows and don't interact with each other. Right. Like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. They're pretty much the guys that are doing it right now. 
but they don't interact at all. Mm -hmm. So it, it's like different flavors of snark. But if you have everyone doing it all the time, it's it's like those people you see in bars that are talking about wrestling and you just don't want to talk to them about it. Good point. I like can't really say much, like, though. Like, they're playing to their base, and I get that. And their yeah, base right. loves it. But for the people who aren't their base, guess what? You're pissing people off. Right, and you don't think you're going to grow much beyond that. Right. No. Okay. Well, I don't even, like, really watch, like, AEW or, like, NXT, I guess, because the Wednesday Night Wars and all that. Your Wednesday nights are booked. I get it. All right. Like, I'm just doing homework. That's, that's, when, <laughs> that's when your Bible club is. I get it. Yeah, I get it. You know, I got hashtag Jesus Club. Hashtag Jesus Club. But, like, I can understand. Cause I, I can't really say too much about it. Because the only thing I really watch from AEW is the dark matches. Mm-hmm. It's on YouTube. Like, I can watch it whenever I want to. Yeah. And just... and it's, they're not just dark. It's, it's AEW dark. dark. It's another program. Right. It's like, yes. it's, it's convenient for me. Yes. If, if NXT did it or WWE did it for all supply things, I'll mm-hmm. watch it too. Mm-hmm. It's just more convenient. Okay. You know? So but, what are you thinking? So, so I, I mean, you're getting wind of the storylines from watching that program. Yeah. But what's happening on the main show, the pay-per-views. Yeah, you also catch it like Facebook and Instagram right, and Twitter. Right, 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 know. right. But like, it's like, I'm not like, some people are just enthralled with this war. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, they're trying to hype up to be what it was like 20 years ago. Right, right, right. And everyone's like, point one for AEW for keeping this amount of weeks in the lead. Well, and people want to want to, want to to cheer for something, right? They, they, they want to pick size. I'm yeah, just like, yeah. you don't have to do that, man. You can watch both. It's like, not like you're restricted. You can have two TVs in But the this, this is playing on a human nature. Right, it is. We're it's allowed, tribalism. We are. It is, it is tribal. It's, it's, it's Xbox versus PlayStation. It's Genesis versus Super Nintendo. It's just, right. It just repeats itself. Yeah, yeah. It really is. And and they haven't really had that. Other than screw your WWE, I like the Indies. Right. Like, <laughs> for so like, many years, guys. If AEW doesn't get more views than NXT, mm-hmm. AEW is not like being canned. It's not going to be canceled. No, 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 no. Like, it's going to be there next week. Well, it's going to be there next year. I said this to my, the mic because we're talking about because, it, you know, the it was like 800,000 for NXT, 600,000 yeah. area for, for AEW. Right. This does not mean, uh-oh, AEW is in trouble. No. It means, well, they're going to work on that rating and try to do right. more. Which is, uh, is what I want them to do. Yeah. But, uh, but, but, but it, also, it also is probably two of the highest rated things on Wednesday night on cable. Right. It's wrestling, um, yeah. Which is they're, they're what both we top want. Twenty. They're not. They're not that. They're not that high. But, but still, I, I think. I think versus like. I think TNT is good with that. <laughs> you yeah, know? I thought they're like. Oh, oh sorry. Good. Oh no, but, but you also have to like at some point. Mm-hmm. You would imagine that Tony Khan would want a return on his investment, mm-hmm. and he's playing a long game on this one, right? Yeah, but. That's what we kept saying with Impact and with mm-hmm. Dixie. And eventually, if you don't get those kinds of ratings, yes, the network may be happy, mm-hmm. but they're not going to be thrilled. What are the points? You know what I mean? Here's the other question I have. For whatever reason, we're seeing the, quote, real numbers of viewers, right? Right. And I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know the sources. You know, I, you know, but, wherever's making the sources. Yeah, wherever the, source the source is coming from. It's right. Nielsen or whatever. Um what happened to the points? Because I remember when we were getting point numbers for impact. The, for the, point, the time. points are probably. Are the points gone with, now? The, the points are probably within point one of each other. Okay. Every week. Yeah. Because that's that's about what they've been drawing. So here, week. so here's the other thing, because in the discussions about ratings, like a margin of error on ratings is like point five. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So like. You gotta be careful where the numbers come from, and plus, it's different. I'm not really worried about um, ratings on television because you yeah, can watch no. it on YouTube, Be- yeah. Beach Report, Network. So we have all these sources of what the ratings are. Mm-hmm. So, like, my thing is, I mean, okay, in my experience, like, you can have a great show on, like on Netflix or cable, or whatever. But if no one watches it, no one's gonna knew it for a second season, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, like, as long as it keeps, unless you're an indie company that pays for the spot. Okay, that's also true. <laughs> but if you are creating content on television, on YouTube, whatever, and people keep watching and watching, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, you're going to keep making more. Mm-hmm. You're going to keep getting for a second season, a third season. I mean, and, that's, and, and again, you know, we, we're, we're all kind of playing TV programmers here right. and what we know about it, but we're not on that side. And well, Okay, most of us are on that side. Uh, But uh, (laughs) so, uh, you know, we do have people on the Mayhem Show who do work in the TV industry. 
in different aspects and it's, it's me guys I do have, have very jobs. stressful sweeps mm-hmm. weeks situations uh and we haven't seen him in a while because he's basically been recovered from that situation and mayhem mania uh but <laughs> so <laughs> and so i mean but he is the one that really he should be in this conversation. Up for new mayhem mania. yes he is he has That's to rework the plan because there's a, needs to be a different plan and everybody's asking why can't i use aew guys in mayhem mania so no well, no fuck that we shouldn't be able to no you shouldn't be able to i agree and i think maybe the answer is there should be a mayhem all all in mm. no because the roster isn't big enough it, also true no because i think aw will just bring any indie person in yeah so that's their that's i think like that's a different thing that they can bring i think the, yeah in. they're a little looser mm-hmm. with see that. i think we just do mayhem super show and allow anyone that's alive mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Soul, Soul Train Tra- Jones versus Brock Lesnar. <laughs> yes. Boom. Yes. In. Yeah, Completely let see, in. Let me see. Alex Hammerstone versus Brock Lesnar. Alex Hammerstone? Yeah, I think that? his name is. Hammerstein, something like that. He's like a big wrestler. From like, I see him on Defy Wrestling all the time. Like, really? Yeah. I've, I've not heard of this one. I'm probably saying the name wrong because I'm like stupid. But like, <laughs> but like I was. You know you what? I is. invite guys on here to get themselves over and... <laughs> Hey, sword, oh, sword, sword, you can only show, you can only show them the path. They have to walk it. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> that is the way. This is the way. I'll try my best. So either way, I enjoyed that. Um, uh, I always enjoy Diamond Dallas Page popping up randomly. Oh yeah. Um, I did not enjoy uh, um, Jake from State Farm being on commentary, uh, or whoever it was. From, I know he was from State Farm because they said it a million times. Because I, I think it was a tongue twister that they were challenged Wait, when to say. Was that? Because I probably didn't get to that. It point. was like the first official match. Was... Oh, no. That was... That's the guy who do, who um is backstage correspondent on AEW Dark. Is he? Uh, okay. I thought he was fine. I thought anyone that keeps Jr. from talking is but fine. He was presented oh, by, <laughs> but he was presented by State Farm. Yeah. Was the thing. Oh. Like, he was there oh. on behalf of State Farm. Hey, I was confused. somehow. And I'm like, is this guy a State Farm employee? It's probably just a call. That's a calling, car and that's now <laughs> calling a match. No, it's like, like it's like Lee Marshall doing the one eight hundred Nitro Road Report. Okay, all right, all right. So this guy was no Lee Marshall. Let's be honest about this. Well, that's fair, but <laughs> Jim Ross is no Jim Ross at this point. So mm. Mm. I get, a, I see a lot of Twitter everyone, like complains about him, but like I don't even watch it, so I don't, I don't like jump in mm-hmm. so like i'm just like okay if he does bad I mean, and he's not on dark is he is that just uh shivani excalibur so. yeah. isn't it Shivani most Excalibur. usually so like all i'm hearing is shivani one thing i like about dark is they do have like guest commentators like oh, they yeah. had kaz in philadelphia they had arn yeah. anderson on for an episode MGF where... was on and he made me laugh mm-hmm. it and almost like, seems oh. like dark should be dynamite <gasps> uh, no uh i mean sometimes it's more fun like seriously sometimes they have better matches I don't know if it's because for YouTube they have the they definitely have the hardcore matches on there that they don't do on. Uh... I think I think every show will probably have that. Like probably like their dark matches are better than the yeah. live matches. I'm pretty sure WWE has like a, a like like a whole warehouse full of dark matches that should be on pay per views or uh, Raw. No, I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry, I haven't seen too many dark matches after a Raw that that didn't look you like know, they were phoned like, in. Oh no, every Raw dark match is like ten minutes of just brawling and finisher spam. Mm-hmm. So like yeah. wait 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 so like br- wait, 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 wait. finisher spam? spam you mean like two K nineteen finisher spam talking about two K twenty when nothing works finisher spam yeah oh okay both 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 okay so we're just yeah. seeing glitches and everyone's finisher going finisher spam uh-huh. this yeah. is a new term for me oh you've never heard the term finisher spam no. do you not play two K oh god 2K that's online? how I used to describe ROH all the time mm-hmm. oh okay okay do you watch any. Not trying to crap on the young bucks, but watching young bucks matches like yeah, um, finisher spam, finisher spam, like L, it's like why, why? Every like, I'm pretty sure they actually have a move called finisher spam. Ooh, wait, stop! I'm gonna coin that. <laughs> <laughs> Rev, let me let me coin that finisher spam. Hold on, I think we I think we found something here. Secure the yeah, bag. Secure, secure the, the bag. bag. Finisher spam. I, I tell tell that, Shane Taylor we got something here. <laughs> I think that move. I think that term originated like back in the. WCW NWO Revenge Days were like when you jacked up your special, you could hit your special as many times as it was flashing at the bottom of the I screen. thought that was like WB13 when you could have like 
pack like five finishers like in once and just Something kill like you. That. Yeah, and just kill your opponent. Yeah, and, and like, then somehow they still if, fucking kick out. Yeah, I'm like what the fuck's going on? <laughs> All right. Well, hey, you know what? Can I hit you with some uh... show tile finishers, man? No. <laughs> I was gonna say some. I was gonna say some pizza spam, but that's not the ad that we have in this spot. Uh, mm-hmm. Hey, very special. Uh, so this is gonna be something that's very timely, and this is why it pays off sometimes to watch a live show. If you're with us live here on Tuesday night, you have until midnight Ooh. to sign in with the uh, offer code. I believe it is Cyber Monday 2019. It's on the top banner. If you go to IndieWrestling.network right now, www.IndieWrestling.network. If you use the code Cyber Monday 2019, I know it's Tuesday. That's okay. We gave you an extra day. Uh, you'll get the first three months for two ninety nine a month. Hold on. Two ninety nine a month. That includes Rise Wrestling with a Y, uh, the one with the, le- the one with less ladies, but um, better ma- awesomer matches. That's my personal opinion. Um, no, no, no slight on Rise with an I, but uh, I, I just. I, I like Rise with the Water. Personal slant. Yes. Personal <laughs> slant. Personal <laughs> slant. Uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling. So we're doing some great stuff over there. Um, as well as uh, Black Diamond with the longest wrestling show in indie wrestling history uh, <laughs> this weekend. Where's our trophy? Uh, where's our trophy? We're going to give you that award. It's going to be the Mayhemies at the end of the year. Uh, presented by IndieWrestling.network. Ooh, we should do that. Um, so <laughs> new new, new uh, thing we need to do. My, start Mayhemies. Gives me something to do before we get to uh, Mayhem Show um, uh, 700 Club. But anyways, a lot of great stuff over there. Also, in the work, in the works is, I have like four wrestling shows to edit, so it's coming along. Reps with a Rigatoni. First episode is three quarters of the way edited. And there's a lot of Rigatoni and a lot of ref talk. And uh, that's coming up there, as well as our Waffles with Women is already up there with uh, Honey Badger, Katie Arquette, and... The artist formerly known as Z- Jinx, because I think she was during that, Ziggy Heim. Mm, um, and uh, so much more. Go check it out. Indie Wrestling dot Network. Over 250 hours of professional wrestling. Also, uh, recently up there, Best of Adam Cold in Pittsburgh. And, uh, baby. Ba- baby. 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 Uh, sorry. I almost missed it. I, I saw uh, Mad Mike had I'm a mouthful, mouthful uh, of food. What's that? I was about to I had... I... I, I Worked late, so I'm eating dinner at the same hey, time. Oh, yeah, I know. That's why I know I didn't get a baby from you. Um, and also, uh, Best of CM Punks are popping up on there from Pittsburgh. And uh, uh, so many more. There's some uh, good good matches on there with Ray Rowe, uh, with a guy that's now known as Elias, who came back on SmackDown this week. Nice. Yeah. So, good to see. Good to see our buddy Elias is uh, popping up and, again. Uh, he, he's trying to... He's trying to get with Dana Brooke. Um, he may have a Batista bomb waiting oh, for him. Oh man, I want to see a Batista spear. That'd be great. Just, just comes like he's holding the guitar, walking, singing. Just Batista spear him to the freaking guardrail door or something. <laughs> like, there just like, like all you hear like is a Dana Brooke segment. She's getting ready for the show. She's wearing makeup. You know, blah blah blah. She's putting it on. You hear a lie singing to the door, and all you just hear is just doom, and then Batista just opens the door and he's like, well, <laughs> and then he just, you should just hear. He starts singing like the, this <laughs> pit of danger. No, no, he doesn't even sing it. He starts just monologuing it. Just monologuing? Speaking, he just speaks it like I walk along. <laughs> like, like it's a spoken word album. Yeah. <laughs> like I travel I down for miles for a thousand years. Inside, <laughs> like, just, like, this like, pit of danger. Can we actually do it? Can, can people just like wrestlers just Spoken word is theme music. Hold on. Let me finish love... the ad. IndieWrestling.network. <laughs> and we'll talk about some spoken spoken word here in a moment. Uh, nope, not that one yet. There we go. Um, I like this idea. I like this idea. I will, I will, I will personally like fun this. Like, I was thinking, some height, somehow, I was thinking, some way. This is what you get for not watching Stuber. <laughs> this is what happens, man. I just want to, I just want to hear Jericho like seeing his, like, WWE theme. Just, just want to hear it. Yeah, but Not thing, but like you know, spoken wrote it. Like I mean, Jericho, I think sang- it has to be other people singing other people's songs. Oh, so like have John Cena singing on um, Sasha Bass's song, like that. Yes, like that would be great. Um, uh, or like uh, Lacey Evans, um, probably like spoken wrote like Alta Backstein, like that would be something interesting. Or Drew Gulak singing the Street Profits theme. <laughs> or have the Street Profits, um, spoken word, um. What's, what's the Drew Galloway's old theme? The uh, oh. Shaman's oh. Harvest one. Out of time. Wow. <laughs> Don't say goodbye. Hey, this is, somebody write this down, Vince. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Someone better start writing this down. We Zeke. just need we just need someone to do a spoken word album of like has anyone heard of Richard Cheese and Loud mm-hmm. Against the Machine? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just want them to do all the hits, all the, all the big wrestling. Right, things. those don't know. Um, Richard Cheese did lounge versions of cover songs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they were called Lounge Against the Machine. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, movie. honestly, mm-hmm. it, it's it's fantastic. Wasn't there a time where WWE made their their wrestlers sing their own themes like Chris Jericho? Chris you Jericho mean actually... WWE Originals, one of the greatest albums of all time? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm not having a fever dream like that actually happened. They, no. they were just talking. I just watched the uh, ride along with uh, Lita and Trish, okay. and they were just like, Yeah, remember they made us like sing our own theme songs, and we just did it like real quick they, in an afternoon, they and we're weren't like, even their own theme and, song. and we're like, Why are we doing this? They, they weren't even their own theme songs, no, they, they weren't were original songs. Yeah, some of them became theme songs afterwards. But like they were original songs, like like Stacy Keebler had a techno bop that was just her singing. Don't you just want to dance? And yeah. it was like I love that that completely digitized when you said that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love that. that was, that's when heard Stacy Keebler say activate state. <laughs> mm-hmm. <Execute>. Oh god! <laughs> like Eddie and Chavo did their own theme. Mm-hmm. Like um, Booker T. Did, can you dig this? And the best thing was there was a running through line where Steve Austin was going to do his own theme song. Mm-hmm. But it was just like like every interstitial you hear on an Eminem album where he's arguing with uh, um, Jim Johnson. And it just ends up with <laughs> Austin breaking a guitar over his head and leaving. I won't. No, actually. I want to hear Steve Austin spoken word his I guess his 2000s theme by Disturbed, like mm-hmm. like I want just just want to hear that you know yeah I think that was the, don't I think let that me was break the, the limit inside you <laughs> I I'll think that was that. the one he was going to do but I was rediscovering Dope the band Dope on my <gasps> I know uh, them. on my what do you mean you know them I listen to them you okay you know of them okay <laughs> I listen to them um. I can't. I probably shouldn't swear, but like, I love the song, bitch. Like, I love, I love that song. You, no, wait. You've listened to this show? Fuck. Um, <laughs> I like music, man. I like weird music. Uh, no, I was listening to that, and like the No Chance in Hell they did yeah. came up. It's just like, oh, I remember WF Attitude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Well, I mean, we kind of get that now, kind of built in with the with the uh, NXT Loud, right? Yeah, kind I guess. Of, yeah. I mean, kind of. I, I mean, mean, it did. It did bring Poppy into my life. So it I did. Can't, it I can't did. Well, I'm like obsessed with that one song, um, X, when she like switches from like heavy metal and like she's just singing normally. Like mm-hmm. the that one freaks we, me out. But I love listening to the one where she says, "Give me, give me blood." Yeah, give me, give me, bloody, me bloody, bloody. bloody. And yeah. like, if I can't let my girlfriend listen to that song because she's like, "Are you a psychopath?" It's like I could be. Oh, she listens to some of the shit I listen to. Um, hmm, land version with "Down in the Sickness" was on Dawn of the Dead remake. Oh it was amazing. Oh, it was. It so, was. So I just looked on my phone, like, type in, like, Dope the Band. I remember how the song Violence, Addiction, Bitch, Dirty World, mm-hmm. Die, MF or Die, mm-hmm. and The Dope Show. Yeah. Wait, Dope Show? No, wait. That's one of the We're Manson. all stars now in The Dope that's Show. That's that's a, yeah, that's Manson. That's I, guess it, I guess I it also was... randomly listened yeah, yeah. to the entire Mechanical Animal album. On the, the what? On the, yeah, uh, from, uh, from Ma- Ma- Manson. It was his, his uh, follow up to Antichrist Superstar. Listen, it was a long drive from Cleveland to Wheeling. Okay, I understand, but like everyone was like, "Oh, I listen to Merlin Manson." I was like, "Oh, so you know this album?" Was like, no, nah, I'm very like a picky about songs. I pick from like artists. So, like, I may listen to like Far in Reverse, but like I don't know all the songs. I couldn't Reverse. tell you a, a, a Five Finger Death Punch uh, album. I could. I couldn't tell you all of it, but like I, but I listen to them like a lot now. Yeah, same. So, uh, Zeke, does your mom know you are dating? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is the question portion of the show. Oh, wow. And actually, I did want to talk about Zeke. You you debuted a new position this weekend. Oh, yeah. Dude. You you did double duty. I had duty. to do a lot of paperwork. But enough about testing. his dating. Was that? <laughs> what? what? I said, but enough about his dating. Yeah. Ayo. Hey, hey. Nothing special. <laughs> Whoa. Nothing special. Wow. My personal life, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you refereed this weekend. Oh, yeah. I had to do a lot of paperwork and get signed by the West Virginia State Commission. I had to do all my testing. Wait, there's a, there's a state commission? Yeah, dude. I, mean, I didn't. I guess I got to get you know, all the testing. I, we're talking about I had what, to make sure I knew where a three count I thought, was. I thought we were talking about West Virginia where you can start training when you're 16. Yeah. 
but apparently refs are different, you know. Yeah, refs are different. Refs are different. Man. Those are for reals. Oh yeah. That's okay. A, that's a true okay. shoot right there. So you 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 refereed a match. Mm-hmm. My debut ref match. Where a referee wrestled. Oh yeah. Against a drunk man. Oh yeah. I mean, everyone got to stop somewhere, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying we get the main event ref spot, but you know, uh-huh. it happens. You know? uh-huh. it, was like the, it was like the second or third match. Yeah, you know, you got to start. And the ref, and that referee still refereed like four more matches. Yeah. <laughs> I love kayfabe, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I love kayfabe's new like attitude towards things. That's right. <laughs> That's right. This lax. It's like the fun uncle. It's now. more like la- it's more, <laughs> it's more like lax fabe these days. Yeah, uh, fabe. But uh, so, lax fabe. so how was it to be on the other side of the stripes? It's funny because if you when you watch, it, I'm still like in gear. But like, <laughs> it, it's literally like he's in gear and he's wearing this referee shirt and it's like the. Not, not the mesh, but like sort of see through. It's, it's the level one ref shirt. I will call that. And it's like you have to work up to get the official ref shirt. And then like you know, like when you're like level ten or something, you get like the promotions, yeah, like insignia you on your see ref shirt. He's wearing his own T-shirt under the ref shirt. Oh yeah, man. like through the ref shirt. Well, it's gonna be that be bare, you know, bare skin on. Like I don't want that. So, <laughs> so it's the ref shirt you wear before you earn gold to go to the shop. To yeah, 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 yeah. Before you level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I gotta okay. start somewhere, man. Jeez. <laughs> um, that's all I wanted to ask you about you refereeing. <laughs> I thought it was fun. It was just it was fun and something different, you know. Mm-hmm. Wrestling keeps me, you know, on my toes. Next yeah. night I'd be like a commentator or next month I could be a ring announcer, whatever, you know, it could happen. I I, I don't are you sure you want to do that? I mean I can try. Now listen, now, I mean I will try, don't get me wrong. Now if I, you were to do like some kind of commentary ring announcer thing, I know We've talked about this before. You have kind of like, um, you do some interesting accents. Yes. Like, would would that, is that something you would play into something like that? I probably would. Cause it'd yeah. Be fun. Like, yeah. what what would you think? I don't know, man. I gotta go. Like, put you on the spot. This is where we workshop things, right, I Mike? I, I was gonna say, are we gonna have an accent off? Because I could probably do some accents. I mean, okay. I had one time where I have a story about like accents, it's kind of stupid, okay, but funny. But like, okay, I went to Universal two or three years ago. And me and my little brother, he's like 13 at the time, we had a bet that we can keep a British accent going for as long as possible. It's just me <laughs> and him. Me and him, just having this back and forth, keep conversation going, right? We were in line, waiting for this stupid Jurassic Park line. They'd drop you down like, you know, 20 feet or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we were in line. We are talking about football, NFL, whatever. Just keep it. Just keep the conversation going. Keep something going. And eventually, a guy turned around. And said, "Oh, where are you from?" He was Irish. <laughs> like he's from the United Kingdom. So, oh, I'm I'm here on holiday with my family, and me and my brother was like, "Oh shit, <laughs> we've been found out. We've been we've been made made. <laughs> like, <laughs> we've been made." Um, but we had to, and then my mom looked at me because she she knew we had to bet, mm-hmm. and she gave us a look. But you got to finish it, man. You got to mm-hmm. finish it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Carry it through. Oh, we got to carry it through. I don't know what the exact conversation going. But like I watched too much Doctor Who, so I was like, "Oh, you, <laughs> oh, so you know, like I'm from uh, Cardiff, and like you know, I live like near the river. <laughs> I like, know who, places that they mentioned on Doctor Who. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, 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 like I, I live that. near Cardiff. Like I see a lot that she from um, Doctor Who there, and like I don't watch that, but you know, it's cool. Um, I love Arsenal. I'm like Arsenal, we talk about football, and everyone's <laughs> like, he's just like, oh my god, like, it's nice to find someone in America who speaks like, like oh man, I know it's weird, like." <laughs> Driving on the rear, this, like the right side of the road, like that's freaking weird, man. Like, <laughs> like everyone was like, "What?" My mom was like, "I hate you both." <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, "I can't believe you did that." And my brother backed out. He just stopped talking to the guy. I carried for like twenty more minutes before the guy got on the ride. I was like, "I can't believe I just did that." <laughs> so you're saying he he, he he believed it. He he didn't call me out. We so had we're saying Zeke could carry this through uh through an entire wrestling show. So oh, you're could. saying you could carry it through a whole podcast uh, i probably could because eventually we start talking about manchester united and i mean that's like the only team i watch mm-hmm. but i have i don't know any players on the manchester united <laughs> team uh, it's so like, like me with I the just, steelers uh that's how i was i moved here i'm a packers fan but like everyone's like oh Yo, you know you know big ben i was like i don't give two shits about big ben like i don't, like, I don't know who that is but like uh, we had a weird thing that happened this is rest this is sort of wrestling related um, we're at Thanksgiving and Buffalo's playing the Cowboys, right? And we know mm-hmm. Bobby FJ, FJ Towns, the uh, a fan out there. Uh, we know, uh, my, and and producer Missy is from the area, 
Sorry, Mike. I know you're a Cowboys this fan. Is, this is sensitive. It's it is. Well, well, no, 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 no. It'll come around on this. So my family's sitting there, and they're like, oh, Buffalo fans, they're pretty crazy. And I don't think they had realized that she was a fan when they were saying this. You know, like, they, like, they they put themselves through tables and light themselves on fire. <laughs> I'm just like... Have you seen a story? <laughs> I, I don't know. What, like, somehow, somewhere, Buffalo fans had this... Is this a meme now, like, with Buffalo oh, yeah, fans? No, I like, guess so. Oh, yeah. So I started going through fair, Twitter. They're up in Buffalo. What else is there to do? Listen, it's cold. <laughs> Why not light yourself on fire? Um, Jeez, going. So, so <laughs> I just, just started pulling up out. video after video of Buffalo Bills fans putting themselves awkwardly through table. You say this in the one that girl that bounced off the table. She's like, "What?" It's yeah, pop, yeah. Like, like, a bunch of those. Like, if they were smart. They'd at least shout out to all the juggalos and juggalettes and make some money off of that. Yeah, exactly right. right? Um, but <laughs> but no, they're Buffalo fans. Um, so. <laughs> I wish the girl who like who did that video that one bounce off the table. She should tag Jeff Hardy. It's like, Dad, do it right. What's that tech week? What's that tech week? I'm right? watching this. I'm watching this, and I see somebody lay across the table like mm-hmm. the wrong way. Oh no! And I'm like, Oh, somebody's getting hurt. Somebody's getting hurt. Like, like they clearly don't watch wrestling. <laughs> I, no, I don't think. Listen, I no, 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 no. They don't watch wrestling sober. Oh, true. Mm-hmm. I got friends well, who only watch wrestling. Drunk. Watch wrestling sober, but they could act it out and not sober. Listen, man. How many times has somebody gone to a wrestling training and thinking they already know how everything works because they've watched WWE all their life? I knew that wasn't the point. Like I was. Yeah, yeah you. <laughs> no, I you're knew. one of the smart ones. <laughs> no, trust me, you're one of the smart ones. I mean, there are still. I I I understand. There's still people that walk in the training thinking it's real. My, uh... There's some people that still get paid by WWE that think it's real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I saw that on Kayfabe News. Yeah, man, I love that. Love that. I love no, that. I, I'm, and I've always, I've always held this belief. I'm pretty sure Goldberg still thinks it's real. Uh, yeah, I think it's still real to Goldberg. Yeah, you think yeah. he they, they gave him like the the script? But I think he's like, what's this? <laughs> A script? <laughs> no, I, well, what's this, brother? I, like, like the backstage stuff he considers. The, like acting, but right. I think when he gets in the ring, mm-hmm. he legitimately thinks he should win every fight he has because he's Goldberg. And I'm like, no, that's just because WCW had no ideas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're like, hey, be a badass guy. You know, you're good at coming off like a badass guy. And you, you think that he always points like, hey, man, I'm glad to work with you. I'm glad to put you over. He's like, what's being put over? I was like, yeah, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Is the other thing too because nothing goes over my head. I my reflexes are too quick. All right, Drax. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're you're suggesting that Bill Ger- Gerber Gerber Bill Gerber yeah. uh, <laughs> hashtag uh-huh. Bill Gerber Bill G- Goldberg is 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 real life Drax. Yes, he could be. Okay, he could be. Yeah, I can see it. Mm-hmm. Like if they do like a future Drax and like like a modern day Drax is like oh Dave Batista Bill Goldberg. And he's like I don't get it. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> How are you me, but I'm me at the same time? It's like that'd be great. Jeez. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyways. Why is Gamora? Why is Gamora? Gamora? Tell me when I watched that, I actually like choked on like while I was drinking. I don't know what I was watching that. I was thinking, like <laughs> drinking apple juice or something. And he said I lost my mind. <laughs> Jeez. Uh anyway, speaking that's a bad segue. Uh, <laughs> lost my mind or choking no, on no, juice? I was, I was gonna say <laughs> speaking of choking, but that's not a bad Yeah, not this a is a segue. PG show, it's a child here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Anyways, something you don't want to choke on is no, oh, that doesn't work either. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> put them under like that. Listen, pull the prop. Speaking of awkward segues. Yes, of yes. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Arcane Slice on Broadway. Broadway. Our good friends supporting Pittsburgh podcast with the perfect pepperoni pizza in Beachview Carnegie, uh East End and PNC Park. What you should add? You should. Add, they should add one near Cansburg. Oh, yeah, really what one means? Can- there you go. Cansburg. There you or... go. The global expansion. Get one in Cansburg. That's not too far away. Or you McMurray. Got a, McMurray. You got a PA. Broadway down there, right? I hope they need one. Yeah. What? I, I didn't need one. Broadway. No, I mean near. you got like a Broadway Avenue. It's a slice on Broadway. This is Broadway Avenue. That's they what. Probably hence, do. Hence the know. name. I don't know. Hence the name. If you got a Broadway, take a picture of the sign. Geotag that bitch, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, tweet at pgh underscore slice on the Twitter. Like we need one here now. With, I'd like a slice hashtag slice on my Broadway. What, right? Here's a slice of my Broadway. What? No, no, a slice on your your mess. No, that's not how we. I do will it. mess up the whole time. I line. want a slice on my Broadway. Mm, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. Bring it. Bring it to Cansburg. 
Bring in the Cansburg. Bring in the Cansburg. I actually, I actually yeah, love coming go. here just for the sex on Broadway sometimes. <laughs> Oh no. Yes, I understand it's a hit. It's, it's good. That's why it's and great. The, and the tacos, but the, the taco guys don't. They have a, uh, no, there are no tacos. They're closed. It's too late. No, no, and they no. don't sponsor us. They're about to. They don't. <laughs> Let me talk to them. Let me talk about a sponsorship, but uh. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Okay. Anyways, um, it's a plan. It's a plan. <laughs> we'll be back with a big question. More with Zeke Mercer uh, after this with Katie. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are here with the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We got Zeke Squad in the studio still. I need to get a shirt that says Zeke Squad. You're talking about your love of the original trilogy oh, yeah. uh, on the break here. I love it. The original. Everyone, Star Wars yeah, I'm probably, pretty sure everyone's gonna like this. This kid I mean, knows nothing. Jar Jar Binks or Bust, right? Yes, I love Master Any. Oh yeah, I can do his voice whenever I can. Oh no. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> Mad <laughs> Mike is with us as well. Yes, I love podcasting with you, Sorgi. <laughs> oh, yes, we love with you. <laughs> love Sorgi. <Wow. laughs> oh, okay. I'm not going to original trilogy after No One Jedi. Uh, because you just reminded me why. Don't you want to see Master Annie so again? Cringy, so cringy. He's so gonna cringy. put you in big doo doo. I'm gonna put you in rest hold and make oh you watch. <laughs> Sorry, okay, go. Oh, so, oh, 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 oh. What, are you doing a Java? Is that what's happening? Trying, okay, trying, yeah. all right, <laughs> got you. So, there's been a little bit of a dust up over copyrights recently, guys. Can we haunt this? No, not YouTube. Oh boy, no, nah. that's something else. Ah, okay. uh, no, 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 no. Uh, apparently, WWE's been letting some old WCW copyrights go, and uh, AEW's been snatching them up. Nah, we got some nah. bash in the beach happening uh, in the in the yeah, future. They can't yeah. have original ideas. Well, I mean, and they won't have a beach bash in January because that makes fucking sense. Because people don't um, play Christmas music in August and tree like it's December already. Uh, you never know. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, randomly, so, just random thought, because you just reminded me of this. I high five Santa Claus this weekend at a wrestling show. Yeah, I yeah, saw him too. That was that was weird. But when I saw him, I said Santa, but he didn't recognize me. I'm so sad. I've been going to the same Santa for the last 15 years. That's right. And they didn't say that his name well, was he, Joe. That was weird too. Yeah, too. He sees you when you're sleeping, but he only knows when you're awake. So he only knows what you look like when you're asleep. That's so weird. And like, I don't want. Talk about Santa no more. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Sort of subject. Um, so they got a lot of these uh, properties kind of resurrecting. Mm-hmm. And let's say, let's say, you know, all those old, uh, all those, all those old, old properties, maybe old uh, ECWs and whatnot uh, dropped. And and I know this is kind of similar to your uh, your your resurrecting pay per views idea that we we, we kind of talked about. Mention, you know, and I know we've done this before. Yeah. But it's a new game. It's AIW doing or AEW. Oh, AI. Hey, Ooh. which which ones would you like to see AIW oh, <laughs> resurrect yeah. as a pay per view? Bash at the beach. What's up, <laughs> what's up, John Thorne? You got some scratched by uh by don't, I don't know November bash, to remember. <laughs> so, bash at Superior. I don't know. Superior, bash at Superior. superior. I don't know Superior Bash. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> This is why I'm a wrestler, not a booker, by the way. Uh, Technus at the on the lake, um, because <laughs> they're in Cleveland. Uh, but anyways, uh, I love Cleveland wrestling. <laughs> Gotta be honest about that. Yeah, I go Cleveland. Man. It's, it's, a, it's a it's a good time. Book Hashtag Zeke bring Zeke to Cleveland. Bring Zeke to Cleveland. <laughs> yes, I don't know, man. That could be that could be the next Mario flip check take Japan. It's like me and you just. Have a travel vlog. Just, a travel vlog. Just me, to you, Cleveland. Yeah, just show me around. You're like, just I'm, gonna. I'm just gonna drag you to Cleveland, mm-hmm. Charleston, and uh, it could be our own. Erie. Yes, it could be our own Mandalorian. The hot towns of wrestling. Yeah, just I'd be like, Baby what, you're Yoda, Baby Yoda, and, and I'm you're the Mandalorian. Mandalorian? Just show that me. This I, I never take this hat off. Yeah, just let me. <laughs> just let me. Just <laughs> this is the way. Yeah, this is the way. You, don't you take me to the entrance ramp and be like, this is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Get out, kid. Get out there. <laughs> show what you're about. <laughs> get chopped to death i don't like it no more so yeah go <laughs> i'll do it for this <laughs> uh anyways what was the point oh wait so aew is doing different things with the like bash of the beach they're doing a special event for which i think is an episode of the pay-per-view maybe yeah. or, i'm sorry of the, I, of the show i, I think it's i think it's dynamite yeah it's a dynamite so what would you like to see aew resurrect that maybe they could put a little elite spin on it. 
their women's division. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna say the same thing. Wow. Hey man. Wow. Hey, hot takes. Hey, hot man. Takes. hey man. All I gotta say <laughs> is, is that anything could be better. Like I'm just saying. What? Anything could be better. Like I feel like okay, the people who I'm are we just from, are we still talking about the women's division? Yeah, like I feel like that could be better. Right. But right I can also feel like it's, it's, there's one thing I can't watch. Brandy, this kind of, their hmm? big idea is Brandy Steele's hair. Great. This is not the direction I thought this question no, was going to go. That's something you do like in year two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't open with Brandy stealing hair to control Awesome Kong to get the women's title, so Brandy's essentially women's champion. Hey, Amen. Mm-hmm. You know, th- you know. I mean, I like watching AEW and all. Mm-hmm. At least I can like kind of watch. It's not cringy to me. It could be better. I mean, anything could be better, but like. I can't even watch Ring of Honor's women's division all the time because sometimes. Oh, it's like, hasn't been great. For like a while. to me, it like I watch it on a fight, and as soon as mm-hmm. I see like a like a lady wrestler, no disrespect, that like I don't have any like wear off, and I watch like the first two minutes of the opening, like I don't know what you call mm-hmm. it, shine, mm-hmm. and if it doesn't catch my attention, I fast forward. Mm-hmm. But see, the thing is, you need to build stories. You can't just have matches. I know, mm-hmm. but like I'm like, not trying to be. Where like, where is has a has a female performer on AEW? Had an in ring promo. I don't think so. Mm, pre recorded, pre recorded. Mm. Everything's no, been pre recorded. In ring, mm-hmm. talk to a live crowd. Mm-mm. I don't think so, man. This is that's, not... that's a massive problem. I, I think that, like, I think it's kind of hard to like revolutionize wrestling because I don't think there's like many um, female wrestlers out there that can like catch you puts attention. So, you know, it's been fascinating to me. I'm ditching the big question at this point. It's fascinating to me because, um, I other than you know obviously you know Britt Baker and um, right. uh, Awesome Kong like I feel like I feel like and maybe it's just the circles of indie wrestling that we watch and have right. attention of being in the Pittsburgh area but I feel like a lot of people have come in that I've never heard of like I I I man I do not mean this as a huge slam but I feel like Rise Wrestling with an I has a more significant women's roster than an interesting women's roster excluding the impact people right because it's their focus yeah then it's, it's then then what aew has. it really shows like it's hard i bet it's hard like i, I wouldn't I, know but I, like, like where is like why doesn't aew have a mercedes mercedes martinez or i thought they did uh, she was in a dark match no was she, no had, no she was this is i remember good. that yeah but she's not signed right Right, but even even just cycling some of them in would be like, you know, where is the Delilah Doom? Although I think she might be injured. Them. What's that? Or signing them. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you're going to have all of these women be in battle royals and stuff, you should sign them. Yeah. So uh, in 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 and granted, I, I don't know how many how much signing they can do, considering they have a one show a week right now. Right, they're not filling a lot of spots. Uh, they're, they're signing male wrestlers left and right. They're really true, weird. true. And then we'll have like a women's match on each show. Yep. Okay. There should, I feel like there should be more women's matches on main shows, mm-hmm. not just mm-hmm. like one. Not just I'm like, with it. Not just but, not one tag team one. But it is a little bit of like, where did these women come from? Because right. there's some that I've literally never heard of. But if they impress people, mm-hmm. you get behind them. Like no one knew who I was. It wasn't no veiled package for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I had just. We are know, talking things. AEW right now yeah. for those interested. Yeah. Uh, Rio has a post match interview that was interrupted. Um. Okay. So there's that. Right. So that that's also no. I feel like it's hard though. I feel like WWE has like a it was interrupted. Right like, mm-hmm. I feel like the Fed had definitely has a stronghold in this wrestling. Yeah. No. I I think I, I I feel like um uh WWE women's wrestling is on another level right now. Right. As far as that the division, especially uh, if you're comparing directly the Wednesday shows, mm-hmm. NXT. Blows AEW out of the water when it comes to women. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Like I, I am to the point where I'm, I'm caring a whole lot about Tegan Knox, yeah, and Dakota Kai. Like yeah. WWE is really good when they're on that to make me like to build a stars sure. there. Yeah, right. Rhea it's, Ripley, uh, uh, Ky- Kayla Ray, is it uh, the the one from the UK? Kaylee, Kaylee Ray. Ray. Other than me forgetting her name, uh, well, you know, no, I mean it, it, it's a hard name to pronounce. If you're yeah, right. and these aren't like you know relatively like newer girls too. Right, but, but also the thing is, Kaylee Ray had never been on NXT before. Mm-hmm. 
she makes one inch she makes one appearance mm-hmm. immediately makes an impact mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. there were there was a women's tag match on AEW last week i did not know who any of them were except for a little bit of emmy sakura um i want jr to be clued in on people <laughs> Oh yes, I, this, JR, I, so I I I am cool with Jr. Generally, as an announcer on AEW, especially if he's flanked by Excalibur and Tony, I think it's fine. He just needs a deep. I think packet. it's fine. I like it better than Raw's lineup pre but, Samoa Joe. Okay, but that but then what they should do is they should take a cue from WCW since they're doing everything else from WCW. Bring in an expert. Mm-hmm. Bring in an expert who actually knows about women's and, matches and, and turn Jr.'s mic off. Mm-hmm. But, but, but Butcher, I, Butcher, I, Butcher and the Blade debuted, and and it was more resounding. Jr. saying, "Who are these guys?" As in, I'm clueless to who the fuck these guys are. Oh, also, the crowd did not know who they were. No, that no. crowd. The my was, thing is, you know where Butcher and the Blade I, are from? I all I'm aware of Butcher and the Blade is from Blackcraft Wrestling. Right, I've that's never known from. And now you took you took one of the more interesting women's wrestlers, and now she's a manager. Yeah. Okay. My thing that is, is very irritating. My, my only critique about how Butcher and Blade were debuted it was because it was against Cody Rhodes, like not against, but like he attacked Cody Rhodes, right? Am I getting that wrong? Why didn't they attack like a tag team? Hmm? Why didn't they attack like a tag yeah. team? If they're a tag team, if they're the Butcher and the Blade, mm-hmm. attack a tag team. They should you're be not in the singles. Like Express or something like that. Yes, mm. you should like. They should maul Marco Stunt because it's or Marco like Stunt. Orange Cassidy or Orange Cassidy. So, someone like it has to like. I mean, maybe it's something where we get Cody and Dustin taking them on eventually. Well, why didn't you attack Cody and Dustin? No, and Dustin's it, also involved in something else right now. But yeah, that's the only critique I have. Inner circle. So because right. mm-hmm. if they had, let's say, like the best friends were facing Jurassic Express and they had a great match, need to finish, Butch and Bray pop up and kill everybody. Mm-hmm. Nah, mm-hmm. I'm interested, but you had well, Cody was facing who? Um, God, I knew his name. Cody was facing um the fellow from Freelance Wrestling. Yeah, f- freelance Wrestler. Um, um, I mean, he was a job guy. Nick, uh, he I, was, but it was Nick, it, it, it was still Nick, sig- Nick. it was still significant because I mean, there was there were Freelance Wrestling chants in the crowd. Right. So it, I mean, his last name was Nick. That's all I remember. Yeah, uh, Matt yeah. Nix, isn't it? Right. Matt, I think probably. so. Yeah. Yeah. But like, okay, that's a singles match. What yeah. is a tag team? Yeah. Doing interfering in a singles match. And again, maybe there's a next step to it next week that it turns into Cody gets out and says, hey, these guys, and somebody with, needs to back me up. Yeah. Yeah. What's, it, what's that? They're probably with MJF. But MJF already has Wardlow. Yeah, but... Don't you feel like there's too many groups already? Yeah. Oh, God, yes. His little faction heavy. <sighs> well, they have MJF and their guy. The, the elite aren't really doing anything mm-hmm. together. Because everyone knows they're the elite. Until yeah, this so it's not... It's, it's like the Avengers. I ever know who the Avengers Hangman are. Hangman Page left the Elite because he hasn't been winning. Yeah. So, which was, I, that was a good nod to that. And mm-hmm. you have the Dark Order. Mm hmm. And you have Jurassic Express, which is a three man. Now, Dr- Dark Order, it feels like they're reverse engineering Dark Order because they were like, who are these weird mask guys that are all, all of a sudden in the tag tournament? Mm. And now we're kind of learning about them right. as they're doing these vignettes. Yeah. So. The thing is, I don't know, like, the inner circle thing, I feel like it happened too fast. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, the whole like I have two mystery opponents like that will I like, know okay that's fine that's how I bring you know LAX and LAX you know mm-hmm. and then Jake Hayer thing I feel that was like sure shot too fast and the Sammy Guevara thing I love Sammy but it was just there like it was just like twists and turns like we realized the inner circle was bigger than we originally thought it was mm-hmm. that would make more sense because everyone kind of wants the elite versus the inner circle I feel mm-hmm. but. Obviously, there's too many inner circle guys versus the elite guys. Mm-hmm. And I was going to say, for something called the inner circle, there sure are a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> like, the WCW New World Order, everyone's a part of the New World Order. Hell, Virgil's a part of this, he, just like the New World Order. Right. Like, okay, Hell, but like... Chris Jericho's dad is part of it. Yeah. <laughs> like his... Wait, hold on. I got to roll back a second. Mike. Mike. Yeah. How did you enjoy <laughs> Ranger's great... <laughs> Uh, popping up. One is this the first time we've seen Jericho's dad on television? I believe so. Like that, I'm aware. Of. Maybe he was sitting in the crowd when he won a belt I mean, or something. My think... favorite thing. Oh, about... I don't... I don't oh, think... wait, 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 Mike. Wait, what was that? I said I'm a Penguins fan, so I don't really give a shit. <laughs> okay, thank you. I was looking for that. My favorite thing was uh, when, when they did that 
Chris Jericho spoof promo, and it was like that. It's um. Church score fellowship lady mm-hmm. was like, I knew Chris Jericho was gonna be a future AEW. Like that had me rolling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I was like, what? That was great. Hmm? That was great. But again, if Jericho's the only one being a snarky meta asshole, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Right. Everyone does it. He's still the best at it. Like Sam Guevara was like known to be like that though. Like mm-hmm. so, like if he was doing that thing, like he's doing his own thing, and then Chris Jericho's like. Hey, I like you. You want to be, you know, in a circle with La Champion? Like, that would have been mm-hmm. like, okay, mm-hmm. you know. But it's just like, um, new yeah. guy, we need some people to fill in a circle, Sammy. Yeah, like, you have no reason for them forming. I, I can't tell you. There's, there's no reason for it. Other than Jer- Jericho surrounding himself by people who are talented. Hey, um, can I uh, throw out some shouts here from friends of the show? Sure. First of all, uh, shout out to friend of the show, Tatiana Rose, for winning her first women's championship hey, this weekend in her like third match. And, and still new. And still new. And still <laughs> new. Um, also, apparently the news in the, in the grapevine is that uh, friend of the show and uh, uh, frequent, frequent. Uh, I think I think he, we can label him a co-host of the Midweek War. <laughs> Like when we were running that uh, back in the day, uh, the uh, co-executive producer of Lucha Underground, one um, Krista Joseph, reportedly, reportedly, not unconfirmed according to Figure Four Online, uh, has been rehired by the WWE. Mm. So, Chris, you're welcome for the uh, mayhem bump. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I guess. I, I, gu- I guess. So maybe. I mean, on God. your lateral move. To WWE, I I hope they put him in charge of whatever the Fiend does. Oh, jeez, yes. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny about this, the Fiend's belt? Like, you know how much it costs? Like six thousand five hundred something. Yeah, it was like that's my it, college tuition. It's a Savini, mm-hmm. who is a Savini. Well, they have they're selling a six hundred dollar version right now, right? That's six hundred, and it's a Savini. Um, um, no, make. six thousand dollar version. Sorry, there is a six thousand dollar. Yeah, version? the boat was like there six thousand five hundred. Is it made of human flesh? I don't know. It probably could. Could be, <laughs> but it, that's how much my college tuition cost. Yeah, around that like price. So I can like buy that boat and then sell it for more because wait, 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 wait. Your happen. your college tuition is six thousand dollars. Just about like for the year. Yeah. Oh well, that's okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, what kind of school are you going to again? <laughs> like that is a bargain. <laughs> that is. Lovely. That's lovely. It's better than my last school transfer. Mm-hmm. Cheaper than my mm-hmm. last school. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> but <laughs> if I was able to buy that belt and sell for more, because wrestling friends will buy that belt. Oh yeah. I can like cover my switch for the next two years. What is your reaction when you go to an indie show? Mm-hmm. And somebody's got the fiend belt over their shoulder. I haven't seen that yet. But I'm, ready I'm just for saying, it. if you saw, uh, if you I saw, rob- I haven't seen it. You'll what? I would rob them because they are clearly stu- too stupid to have money. <laughs> oh, Miss Tina Key says six thousand is a rent for three months. Thank you. That's a good yep. comparison. I like that. Anyone who actually buys that belt, Tina, <laughs> just you know, top fan. That's a hell of a that's a hell of a rent. Jeez, for three months that's an overtime, buddy. That's, that's, that, like, that's two thousand a month. Where are you staying? California, or, California. But well, she's in Seattle, and Amazon fucked that up youngin'. for them. She's got a youngin. She does have you. I have room. Yeah. Got to have room to gotta have room, man. Got to run around. <laughs> got to do the. They got to do the um the backflips off the couches and coffee tables because I saw uh what's the name? Hey man, do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey man, do it. That's saw pack. Dude, I want to be like Pac. Not do backflips your coffee tables. Jeez, what I do at home? Got to pay for all those coffee tables that we're going through. Thanks, thanks, John Moxley. <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> My child didn't know what uh, barbed wire was, but he saw John Moxley use it. Now he's trying to skin our cat with it or something like that. Like some creep. <laughs> <laughs> I got surprised by barbed wire this weekend. Dang. I had no idea. And we're like, oh, there's barbed wire in this match. Oh, good. I, I didn't know that. I don't think I'm mentally ready for barbed wire as a wrestler. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for that. I'm a, I'm a child. I, I won't use that no, excuse for the no. longest time. Yeah, I'll be no. like, oh, you want to have a... Um, a death match. I'm yeah, like, yeah nah, you I'm didn't grow up on death match wrestling, did you? I watched it a lot. You watched it a lot? Okay. Because yeah, it was on YouTube. You know, everything was on YouTube. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I'm like, I mean, it's interesting to watch, but I can't do You're not it. doing that. I'm not doing That's it. not happening. I'll respect the people who do it. Like, yeah. the tournament of death is like the most interesting thing. I, I watch like almost every year. Mm-hmm. I get it. I love mm-hmm. it. But like, someone's like, hey, uh, I'll pay you this much. I'm like, nope. 
Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. I am not. I'm a child. I mean, like, <laughs> even by, like I know I'm 20 years old, but if anyone records me going through anything like barbed wire and tables, I'm pretty sure CYS would be called, and <laughs> like, like yeah. child endangerment laws will be enacted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I look like a child. I cannot do that. Like, yeah, we gotta watch where we take a seek. Yeah, like, <laughs> I get shot by like I don't know. Uh, let's say beast man shots me, whatever, and like cops get called. Yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. The first time, you know, you know what we need to do mm-hmm. is we have you and Marshall Gambino at RWA, where where police presence has been known to happen, mm. and that's where that will go down. I'm not about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of iffy about police. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, <laughs> okay. I mean, Even though I'm going to beat the school just for a cop, but like I'm still like, did you see how they handled that situation on Raw? Yeah, I'd yeah, be, I'd be concerned uh, too. Hey, man, I'm just <laughs> humans. Like humans are scary. I, <laughs> I can't even say, "Damn, nature, you scary." It's like, nah, humans, y'all are scary. Like, <laughs> y'all decision makers kind of obscure. Oh, you're not even Bobby Lashley safe, <laughs> dude. Like, okay, I, I have C- I CJ classes all day, and one of my teachers literally went on a 40 minute tirade how, um, how cop cases. Oh, like held him so wrong. Mm. Like it was so funny. He was like, I would fire everyone. <laughs> like, Anyways, oh. moving on. Um I forgot what my transition was. Oh hey. Um I did listen to the New Day podcast so today. I. So did I saw You did too? Okay. Well what are your thoughts on that, uh Mad Mike? They need to work on their timing. <laughs> Apparently. See, that, that felt like part one. It did. It really did. It, it, it was. It just seemed like that their recording kept going. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, like the... I bet Woods is laid up for a while, so they just recorded about six or seven episodes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and are just using producers to break it up. I'm mm-hmm. like, that's great, but I don't know. It was fun. It was fun. Mm-hmm. Like it, like I, I watch up up down down all the time, so I'm I'm you're, you're used to this. Anything they do, and I also watch left right left right. Yeah, what is that? It's it's a it's a subsidiary of up up down. No, down. yes, they that takes, didn't. That takes place in the N- NXT Performance Center. Okay, because okay. we can't do as many videos. So now Tyler Breeze hosts left, right, left, right from the NXT Performance Center. No. Yeah, like it's it, pretty great. Is it, is it on the same channel? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, they have three episodes of uh, Tyler Breeze, Adam Cole, Tegan Knox, and Dio Madden playing the Untitled Goose Game. Oh, that's this one. Okay. Okay, oh, I was seeing it's those. Great. It's great. Oh, it does say left, right, left, right at the end. Okay. By the way, Untitled Goose Game, awesome. I need to get, hand, I need to get my hands on that. So, um, there's too much stuff. You're just there's too, much, there's too much wrestling. There's too much stuff. Too much stuff Hulu's on YouTube. Wrestling, wrestling. Yeah, Disney Plus. Like who? I couldn't. I couldn't pass on Hulu for two dollars a month for a year. So no way. I have a student account. I got five yeah. dollars for Spotify, Hulu, and Showtime. Yeah. I started watching Ray Donovan. For those who Ray know Donovan. Ray. Oh my God! I didn't know he that the guy who played like Sabretooth was yeah, such yeah, a good yeah. actor. And I'm like. Guy oh my played. god he knows him as the guy that plays saber tooth mm-hmm. mike don't we know him as the guy from scream <laughs> i know him as both yes <laughs> cotton weary man cotton weary hey man i'm a young and so i don't think i remember saber tooth like <laughs> i get it I, it was a good saber tooth it was a good saber tooth we had nothing but wrong like, with hey, tyler Maine. Hey, all respect to tyler Maine, okay sorg mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I'm gonna. He was Saber Tooth in the first X Men movie, Tooth. and he was also a pro wrestler. I think he wrestled for WCW. Oh man, for yeah. real? See, yeah. the more you know. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I don't know anything, man. Yeah, a new wrinkle in that brain. Look at that. College boy. Yeah. <laughs> Textbooks don't teach me that stuff. <laughs> we're teaching the youth, sort. That's, that's they... right. That's right. We're 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 doing we're doing we're putting good in the world. I pay for doing the Lord's work. Anyways, Ooh, that's my job. Hey, 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 that's so, my line. So we talked about it for a moment, but but for those that initiated, they haven't listened to it yet. Um, basically, they kind of went over how they got there, right? How they got to the New Day, some of the hurdles and creative that they've had, um, you know, kind of um, um, hacking the system, I guess, a little bit of creative at WWE, it seemed. Yeah, um, it seemed like it. 
I mean, and yeah, it was what was it, like forty five minutes. It went quick. It mm-hmm. went quick. And they did preview. Like part two is like we're gonna give you a list of names we had. I'm so excited for this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they give, they give one of my favorite things about hearing wrestlers talk about how they got their names mm-hmm. is hearing rejected names. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. It, it's just it's the absolute best. Thing. I will, you know it'd be a great segment hearing wrestlers how they got their names. Like I'm pretty sure there was other names other than like Zeke Mercer or like you know Britt Baker. Like names they tried Wait, out. Well, what was Zeke Mercer almost? Uh, I don't remember. You don't. <laughs> I mean, I used this one time. Like, Wait, Zeke Mercer is not your name? I mean, son of a bitch. I mean, legally no. <laughs> People do come. Like, I got recognized in Walmart like a couple times. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It's weird. Like especially when it happens to like Walmart friends. That's because you're on this show. I guess, man. It's the bomb, man. <laughs> but like people, I wear his jacket, and everyone's like oh, Zeke. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I like the identification is the jacket. The jacket. It's literally you the know, jacket. Like not it, like the guy that looks like the wrestler or the Fight Society shirt or the taped glasses. Just hey, hey Zeke, how are you? Where's your next show? I'm like. <laughs> Uh, like i didn't know like some fans i don't know by name Mm -hmm. but like i still treat them the same but like one time it happened my friend was getting a cart and a fan came up behind me i was like oh hi zeke how are you and like after we had 15 conversation minute conversation our friend coda was like who the hell was that (laughs) and then zeke uh uh charges them 20 dollars for a picture because he's future virgil Mm -hmm. as we established Mm -hmm. earlier my one fear is that i won't get recognized well, with my dad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to explain why I'm... Like, he knows I'm a wrestler. He gets okay. it. But, like, he doesn't understand, like, like people actually know my, my He doesn't guy. understand, like, people, like, actually watch you and, like, yeah, look people, up to you as a wrestler. Yeah, like, when I start getting my <laughs> wrestling shirt, he's like, no one's going to buy that bet. And, like, <laughs> my dad messaged me. Well, no, like, I'm not buying one because you never have a damn 2X. I'm sorry. Like, I'm broke. I don't got a stack of my shirts. I don't have three left. I started with, like, 24 of them. Now I have three left. Time like, for a new shirt. Time for a new shirt. So, so, did I tell you the one time I got recognized in a Walmart? Dude. What? Tell yeah. me it's not the wildest thing in the world. What? For, right, for on so, here? No. God, no. <laughs> wait, wait. You didn't get the or, bump. From right, that time so, when you are in the crowd on Monday Night Raw? Oh, no. no. For being a Toys R Us employee. <gasps> Dude. I, I got recognized by a little kid. <laughs> no, no, I swear. No, and this is real. The only reason I'm bringing this up is because of why he knew who I was. Oh, my God. Please tell me. He, he would come to the store all the time. <gasps> yes. And we would talk about wrestling because <gasps> he was a massive wrestling fan. Yes. And and I would like I would I would find him the new figures if we had any in the back and all that stuff. And we would just talk about wrestling the whole time. And his parents were great. Like, it was awesome. But he came up to me when I was looking at wrestling figures at Walmart. This was like a year and a half ago after Toys R Us had closed. And he's like, hi. I'm like, hi, buddy. How you doing? He's like, do you remember me? I'm like, did, did I know you from Toys R Us? He's like, yeah, I'm the guy whose favorite wrestler is Goldust. And I immediately remembered that kid. Yes! <laughs> immediately remembered him. That's amazing. Because I told him, I'm like, that is an excellent choice for your favorite wrestler. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Respect like, because it, it was completely unexpected. Mm-hmm. The only time I've ever been more surprised is when a little kid told me his favorite wrestler was Pentagon Jr. Hey. Yeah, and he <laughs> did the Cerro Miedo to me. I'm like, oh my god, I want to keep you as a child. <laughs> <laughs> and then it got creepy. creepy. <laughs> yes, I, I got yeah. recognized at work, it was weird. I <laughs> actually got worked by two different times at two different places I worked. I used to work at Sky Sound and one in Cansburg. And three kids came up to me and said, you look like a wrestler. Is your name Zeke? And I looked at my t- name tag. I was like, yeah, my name's Zeke. <laughs> I was like, I know you. I watch you wrestle all the time. <laughs> I was like, what? Nice. And another time, um, I worked at another place called Soft Point. And apparently, I, work, I have a co-worker that's another wrestler's like brother, uh, Jake Garrett's brother. Nice. He was like, you, I had a rye shirt on because I brought a rye shirt because, you know, I had to get a shirt. Just because I'm like, hey, I wrestle at Rise. Hey, because <laughs> like, I'm going to be cool. I had on for work. And then he was like, Rise? I was like, yeah. My, uh, my, my brother goes there. He's like, brother? He's like, oh, you may know him. Garrett. Jay Garrett. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> nice, nice. And me nice. and Jay Garrett from the same town. I never knew that. 
we li- we're from the same town. Jay Garrett's a mystery. I swear. Oh, I lost my camera. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. It's Where'd my feed, camera go? Feed, ah! no, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want Mr. Sako. I don't want it. I don't no, want Mr. it. So- <laughs> no, Mr. Sako. No, Mr. Sako. No, Mr. I- <laughs> Not the sock, not the sock. Oh boy. But anyways. Yeah, I got it was anyways. Um Is there anything else happened this week? Uh <laughs> it was I don't know, man. I'm just watching like Instagram for my wrestling this week too. I don't know, man. And catching up. It's too much. And in, and getting into it. Anything we should we're missing that you guys should check out. Um I got a shout out. I, I didn't mention them on the ad, but I got I got a shout out. Um I talked about like, last night. Uh, working uh, UXWA for the first time. How was that, Great buddy? crew up there. Got to run into uh, John Thorne, who we've had on the Indie Mayhem show several times. And and it may have been the first time we met in person. So that was fun. Um, and uh, and uh, Lee was up there. Lee Moriarty was up there. A few friends of the show were up there. Oh, I love um, Mr. Lee. But uh, <laughs> it was it was pretty crazy. They like um they like hardcore matches in Cleveland, guys. You don't say it's it. wild. It's it, you don't say dude, Cleveland where Shane know, Taylor man. is. Yeah, <laughs> they like hard. Pro- no, okay, okay, that's that's a stretch. It was you know? it was pretty crazy. It was and and also this is like a room where um I've seen I don't know how many promotions do shows out of mm. um and and it was kind of cool to be there because I I've seen it on online through other promotions so many times so. All right, guys, mm. I guess it's time of the, that time of the show to ask you guys in the audience. Oh. What did you learn from wrestling this week? I want to say year. This week. Year. I'm not I learned that, that uh, the Revron Hunt is uh, good buddies with Santa Claus as well. <gasps> apparently. He oh, there he is. Hey, look wait. At him, look at him hanging with Santa Claus up there. I don't know. Santa Claus is real. Wait, you think he can get me that BMX bike I wanted seven <laughs> years ago? <laughs> <laughs> they can work that in. I'm a JC member. I do. I do the Lord's. That's work. right. Where's your Where's your fringe benefits from being a J- Jesus Club uh, uh, member with the rep? Um, you know that. Remember last year we cut a promo for me to get fed. Um, yeah, I, I, I can eat now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a Somebody thing. was just asking about that last <laughs> night. <laughs> I can eat now. <laughs> They're like, so wait, did they wait? Did they did they adopt him? Oh yeah, bro. I work for the missionaries overseas and all that. There you go. I get my I get my village fed. The next is it is for you, I'm just waiting for you to get adopted by Shane Taylor Promotions to be their mascot. So I get thrown around. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, you know, just have just have um, Jonathan Gresham put me in like a like some oh, weird geez. stretch amount. You all you hear oh, is my shoulder. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, have you did you see his uh, his his uh, 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 series of Jackson Argos? Man. Yeah. Oof. Oh, oh my god. Oof. You can't, do, you can't even give me a do a nip up because my shoulder hurts. Good you stuff. <laughs> and he comes out with that octopus mask now. It's it's dude, like oh that's that's strangely that's intimidating. Dude, I love that. That's I love strangely that. intimidating. I love man. that. I love the fact that me and him were both like five four. Yeah. And like he comes out with that. I was like that man's a giant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dude, I hadn't seen him for a while. We saw him at that Ring of Honor show in town like what last month, mm-hmm. and uh, and I was just like, dude has been hitting the fucking gym. I need to be on like his level. Like hell. I get what it. you do, man? I need to. I get I'm only twenty. I'm get gonna look like I'm thick. five. Get that thick. Figure out how your body works, man. I think get he's been taking advice with. Thick I'm the Mama last Pump. person to be telling you this. Give me another slice of pizza. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Zeke, what'd you learn from wrestling this week, other than how to referee? Um, don't. I mean, learn to ref better. I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't. Um, let's protect myself more because I've messed up my knee. Okay. Sunday, so okay. Yeah. yeah. Watch yourself. Watch myself. Go you watch yourself out there. You're mm-hmm. the only one that's going to. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Who'd you wrestle again? Keith. Oh yeah, Keith. Yeah. Hurt myself. Don't don't. don't please don't come <laughs> after me. Please, please don't come after me, man. I'm not saying you hurt me. Not Keith's <laughs> fault. Not Keith's fault. Not Keith's fault. fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. He's gentle. I messed He's up. He's gentle. Mad Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned even if you are a guardian of the freaking galaxy, it's still shoot your shot 2019. That's right. Yes. Batista and Dana Brooke, <laughs> our favorite, our favorite couple. Mm. Uh, Literally the most wholesome, yet probably not entirely wholesome mm, thing in mm, wrestling. Mm, 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 and mm, I also mm. learned that um, Arn Anderson is asking who everyone's modern day four horsemen would be. I have no oh. idea. And and I I just thought of mine real quick, like it was first thing that came to my head. Sarah, brother, EC three, okay, Keith Lee, all right, 
Drew Gulak and Tony Nice. Okay. Can yeah. I ask why? You don't do- um, Gulak and Nice teamed up a lot on 205 Live. Mm-hmm. They're both very technical. Uh, they work well together as a team. Right. Keith Lee would definitely be my Tully Blanchard. Okay, yeah. Because oh. fucking look at him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fucking all right. look at him. Keith Lee is like pro wrestling personified in 2019 for me. Keith Lee is impossible. And that's the only EC- word. And EC3 deserves a damn starring role mm-hmm. where he can talk and he can be a weasel mm-hmm. like Ric Flair was in the 80s. Mm-hmm. Who's your J.J. Dillon? Rockstar Spud. Hey, I was going there. I was going yeah, there. I mean, if if you needed JJ, which I don't necessarily think you do, no, not necessarily. But, but if we but were going that version, definitely Drake Maverick. Who's a Mongo right McMichael? There. Put him back in a suit. It's aces. Who's a Mongo McMichael? Uh, oh, Pat, Pat McAfee. Dijakovic. <laughs> Dijakovic. Ooh, ooh, that that is. I think that's disrespectful to Dijakovic. Yeah. I like Mongo. Yeah, uh, okay. I liked okay. Mongo. Okay. I thought he was okay. I liked Mongo, but I also, you know. Well, I mean, like, in my opinion, the four horsemen should have four people. Right. So, uh, in my version, there wouldn't be a Mongo. Right. If I was if I was doing, like, the 90s version of it, mm-hmm. where they're all, like, really talented singles wrestlers, mm-hmm. it'd be EC3, Keith Lee, Dijakovic, and Cesaro. Okay. Okay, I get it. I dig it. I dig it. Tina learned the how to wrap my head around Effie choke slamming another wrestler in a pool of Jello. Uh, yeah, didn't they do oh, Jello God. wrestling? They like, just straight to Jello wrestling. I thought like, legit like Effie and uh, Envy Young have such a great chemistry on Twitter. I love that. That's like a whole sitcom. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's a whole sitcom right there. Uh, M- Envy Young tweeted earlier. Have you ever just slammed an entire pizza and dealt with the consequence and just said fuck it? I'll just deal with the consequences later. Oh Envy. no! Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Oh, uh, Envy's, oh. That, Envy's that cool kid I want to be in school. What's up, Mike? Tina just said something that makes me very upset. <gasps> oh, here we go. Pop it. Oh, okay, here, here we go. Rock and Roll Express or the NWA Tag Team Champs. Did this just happen on Power tonight? I don't, I don't think so. Was that the season finale uh, yes, thing sir. there? Oh, another thing I would probably get heat for. I don't watch NWA Power because I. Don't, you're not. Well, you, dude, it's, it's oh, right, you don't. Man. I told you it's a safe zone, man. I'm waiting you do for whatever messages. you want. I'm waiting for messages. How do can whatever we don't you watch want. Power? You know, I, I, I don't mean, want. I'm not going to watch it until Cornette's completely gone from that company. Can I, can I say something that's also controversial? <laughs> okay. I didn't find what um, Cornette said offensive. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I can that's take fine. a joke. I, I just don't. <laughs> like, I can take I, a joke. Okay. I don't like him in general. I yeah. understand, but yeah. everyone's like hi, hi, jumping on his back for what he said, and I was like, I mean, Dave Chappelle said worse. <laughs> Even in a joking manner, it's a, it's a different form of media. I yeah, get it, but like, it's a different environment. I don't. Find, I can you're doing you commentary. Like, you're not doing stand up. It's kind of not the place yeah. for going that yeah. direction. But like, I didn't right? find it offensive. So, but yeah. then again, I don't let everything offend me. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just a, like I'm not like a part of just like. Offensive, like I'm offended. I feel like anybody in in wrestling would not be offended by that because I feel like people in wrestling have a thicker skin because wrestling is a bunch of stereotypes that we either follow or break. (laughs) Oh, so okay, you didn't know all of them. That's kind (laughs) of okay. That that's a that's that that is that's a pull. Wow, (laughs) that (laughs) is. Coming in hot at the end of the show. Man. Wow. <laughs> Philosophy. We just, we just got him going. Philosophy. He's going to leave you with that, guys. From, from the mouths of babes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> is, it, is it like you follow your stereotype? Like, I could just be like a SoundCloud rapper. You know what I mean? Oh, what? Like, Wait, what? like For my gimmick, because I'm like, you know, <laughs> you, I could be... I'm, I'm African American, you know. You got the, the tri cell t, uh, like. CDs side note, the... side note. Did we notice the 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 two young girls that had TikTok hoodies at BDW this weekend? Yes. Okay. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I love he's going the high pitch on that. Like, Motherfucker, yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Big e, Big e has a cameo hoodie. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Because of all the but cameos like, he does. Well, like legit, like you could either. Like, because of who you are, or, yeah, you, know, you can either follow a stereotype, and this is, or I, you can not follow. You stereotype. should listen to this new day podcast because they talk sure. about that, right, right, right. So, 
Um, because they talk about like the kinds of gimmicks that they've been handed, right. and you're either you know, like this kind or this kind, and like that's almost it. It's just based on so, your looks. Yeah, you could. Yeah. I mean, you can you can obviously you know define it like mm-hmm. if, if and you, that's what they did right like you know Effie it could be like just another quote unquote gay wrestler yeah but it's we know him as you know Effie you love him yeah. Envy Young is like I guess you call one of them too but like yeah it's Envy Young to me yeah you know? yeah <laughs> MV Young's a fucking badass. Right, is, like his me, character. Like, everyone's like, oh, he's always. He's just like, I'm gonna, like, oh, I, yeah, yeah. He, he, like I'm gonna fucking punch you in the face. Yeah, like he, street fight. He like, will get like, into his your conversion face. from that, from like the last time I saw him in Pittsburgh to when he moved out of here mm-hmm. to like coming back and just like having Strong a style fucking style. slobber knocker matches with Peyton Graham and Brohemoth are yeah. just fucking amazing. Yeah, um, and good for him. And he's making some some real shit happening. Like so. I could just be another gangster character who has a Napoleon complex. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I could. You could. Right. All or right. I could just be myself. I'm waiting for Zeke to just start fucking choke slamming people. Yeah. Wait. Oh yes. Please. I mean, Tegan Knox does it. I could. Right. My first victim would be PB Smooth. Just come out. <laughs> That's right. Oh man. <laughs> Zeke versus PB. Let's do it now. Do the whole. Where are we at? Re- Revenge or rise? Pull that off. Um, it probably won't happen. Marcus McChesney Draven. Come on, come on. But you know, I'm just saying. Like, you know what else I learned? What's up? Doors. Yeah. Doors. Doors. I saw. Uh, we well. Uh, apparently, tables are out. Doors are in. Oh yeah. Well, um. Well, I guess doors are in or out, depending on which which they're installed. Tables are um, so nineties, man. Doors don't have both sides, Sorg. That's All right. That. That's right. Uh, so 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 I saw a door used at, at Revenge in Erie, right. and then I saw the remnants uh, of the of the door that was used from Friday Night's AIW show because mm-hmm. <laughs> it was mm-hmm. apparently came with the ring. <laughs> I'm just like, why is there a half a door in the ring? What are we gonna do? A half a door spy? What the fuck is happening here? Everything can happen in wrestling, man. Yeah, anything. Mm-hmm. Doors. If we can make people use. cry over a championship win or loss, we can use a half a door. It's only a step down. We're not going like too far. <laughs> Zeke Mercer, you're online. Where can people find you? Uh, on Twitter, um, D Zeke Mercer. Same with uh, you know, Instagram. Facebook, Zeke Mercer. I don't have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm not working on a new design for a new T-shirt. You gotta yeah, do a I, new run, man. I gotta do a whole new it's time. Run. Or I can do a limited edition. It's time. What's that new T-shirt colors? gonna be? Different hey. colors. There's some good designers out there in the Mayhem universe. Maybe yes. I can help you out. I actually have a lot of friends that are graphic designers. There you now. go, man. It's too much, man. Do it to it. I'll probably have them back. Um, some out by January. It's on my time. Yeah, here's just a different color or Z Squad coming out. There you go. Z Squad will probably come out. You do that, Z Squad. Yeah, you probably come out February. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Share the love. Am I getting royalties pink. off that? Oh, you probably. Could. I think we came up with it here, didn't we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And there, that's another. I'm sure I said it. Listen, man, we've contributed ideas of Lucha Underground. You, you, you get some too. Can producer Missy get home a shirt? What's that? Can producer Missy get home a shirt? Producer Missy had a shirt uh, some 15 years ago for a different website. I'll, I'll, I'll say yes on producer. Hey, yeah. Hey, here's a fun fact for you that many of you don't know. There was a Sorg shirt. Mm-hmm. There was a well, actually, it was something else that I used to call myself. Ooh. There was a Missy shirt. There was a Chachi shirt. Chachi. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we had a there whole. Was not line. a Mad Mike shirt, Sorg. There was none because we haven't done. Thanks. There was a thanks. Doc Remedy face shirt. Thanks. Yeah. No. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. I I I could have used some royalties. That's well, fine. hey, <laughs> Lord knows I've said enough controversial stuff on this show to warrant a shirt. Damn straight, Mad Mike four eight eight three. YouTube.com slash Poppy. There you go. Poppy Club. Go do it to it. Thank you, everybody, for joining us again. Uh, we will do an Indie Mayhem show. We have on deck starting at 6 o'clock p- p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll be over on the Indie Wrestling U.S. feeds. Uh, we are talking to Bubba the Bulldog. Bubba the Bulldog. There you go. Thank you. I didn't I didn't know that you were in the loop on that one. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorg, I've been doing this for a while. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. But he'll be returning to the show uh, first time in studio. We had a. F- I looked. I looked. I was like, "Oh, good. It'll be good to have you back on the show." And he's like, "What do you mean? I've been on the show before." I was like, "Oh, we had a phone interview with you in like eleven years ago." <laughs> he's like, "Oh, good. I thought I was forgetting something." So, <laughs> so he, he's very yeah, excited. Last time he was on Mayhem Missy sang. The that song. is right. Mayhem that is right. Missy. Mike, I might have to invite you in to 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 sing the song again. Um, and I think we have another interview. I think uh, Danny Abel's after that tomorrow. And I have just apparently we are having a Billion Bros Excellent Adventure video game stream happening around eight thirty Wednesday night. So yeah. to flip uh, flip the flip the switch over to uh, us on the stream between your AIW and NXT AEW. Fuck. 
language. A E W. But also check out those guys in Cleveland too. Uh, support our wrestling. Support our wrestling, man. It's cool. Wrestling. It's cool. Huh? Yeah, I don't hashtag, care if they're, hashtag for I don't care if they're on our network or not. <laughs> if you're supporting them, that's cool. You know, it all works. It all works as long as you're helping somebody. You like what you like. Do what you do. Support what you support. As long as you're supporting it. And support this show, of course. Patreon and all the other places. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. Then attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time. Then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.